Until this day, it really hadn't set in. It's, it's hard to believe that all this is happening to a young man. Adam Bacon wore many hats. He's always happy, charismatic. I mean, just instantly people loved him. Husband, father, firefighter. Always just happy and joking and, um, you know, around here, it was always just a good time. And if on a fire scene you needed something done, you look for Adam because he did the work of two to three firemen. And an extreme athlete. He completed his Tough Mudder and he wanted to push to other things. He was always pushing himself to do more. At the end of October, Adam started practicing martial arts. During his second day of training, he fell on his neck. Uh, it was funny because in the ER, he was like, I'll never make that wave again. It was totally my fault. I shouldn't have done that. I'll never do that again. Adam broke three vertebrae in his neck. And after a three-hour emergency surgery, doctors told Maureen Bacon her husband had an incomplete spinal cord injury. He still has feeling and minimal movement in his right arm. Yeah. I told him he has flappers. So I told him because he can kind of move his right arm. Maureen is still in high spirits as she gets ready to travel to Atlanta with Adam for three months of physical therapy. Her optimism is fueled by all the support from friends and family. Facebook comments praying for Adam have been nonstop on the Prayer for Adam Bacon Facebook page. And the family support isn't just from immediate family. As a family and brothers, you know, you still have to watch each other back, whether you're on the clock or you're off the clock. You know, it doesn't matter what shift you're on, you know, what station you're at. It's, it's a brotherhood throughout the department. The brotherhood has already started fundraising for the family. And when Adam and Maureen go to Atlanta, the firefighters plan to bring their nine-year-old son to visit every weekend. In Columbia, Dana Fulton, Watch Fox News.